Hello viewers, now I will tell you about calories, calories in uh, diabetic patients. Most important thing you have to know is the total calories. Just count how many calories you are eating. You may be eating only once in a day, you may be eating twice a day, you may be eating thrice a day with small meal or whatever. The total calories what you are consuming in a day is more important. And calories are also uh, different for different foods. Uh, but at the same time, you should also remember that suppose if you are taking any powerful anti-diabetic tablets or insulin, we don't advise you to fast for more than uh, one hour or two hours. It doesn't really uh, matter. You should not fast for uh, more than uh, one hour. Uh, it's sometimes harmful if you are not eating anything for one hour after you take insulin or after you take any oral anti-diabetic tablets. So for those people who are on a milder anti-diabetic tablets or who are not on insulin, it doesn't matter whether you are fasting for more than 8 hours or 12 hours, it's okay, you can manage. So you don't, don't think that uh, you will get the hypoglycemia or low blood sugars if you don't eat uh, in 3 hours. So that is another issue you have to remember. So don't have to eat every 3 hours like what you are being told uh, all these years. We all know that uh, di diet is counted by calories. So the amount of energy that is released from individual dietary uh, constituents like carbohydrate, uh, protein and fat. So these are the three major dietary constituents which provide you with calories. Calories are the energy unit. So energy is counted in uh, calories. You have to remember that carbohydrate that is sugar provides 4 calories per gram whereas fat that is oil that provides 9 calories per 1 gram so even a small amount of oil you take provides more energy than sugar so that's what you have to remember uh, unfortunately we try to uh, uh, relate sugar with sugar disease diabetes yes it is a sugar disease you see a lot of sugar in the urine and uh, a lot of sugar in the blood that doesn't mean that you get diabetes by eating sugar. It's not a, a disease that is caused by eating sugar. Though there is a lot of sugar in the blood and a lot of sugar in the urine, you are passing a lot of sugar in the urine. So it's, a, it's, a, it's not a sugar disease. Unfortunately, people in all, all parts of the world uh, relate diabetes to sugar disease and to eating sugar. So once a person is diabetic, he is advised not to eat sugar. So that is more important uh, for everybody uh, to know that it is not sugar that causes diabetes nor the sugar restriction that uh, gives them any benefit. So suppose if you are taking uh, sugar in the coffee or tea cup about 5 grams or 10 grams, 1 spoon is 5 gram, 2 spoon is 10 gram, uh, one, 1 spoon of sugar provides you only about 20 calories. Suppose if you are taking about 4 or 5, people don't take uh, more than uh, 4 or 5, I don't e even 4 is more, 4 cups are more. So 4 cups or 5 cups of coffee, it doesn't provide more than 100 calories of uh, sugar based calories. So it's not uh, really necessary to restrict sugar in coffee or tea if a person is diabetic. Uh, just thinking that uh, reducing uh, sugar calories can reduce their body weight or their diabetes is not true, it never happens. It's unfortunately people uh, relate uh, their diabetes to their sugar in the coffee or tea. It's not true, it does, it's not going to matter. It's not going to help you if you stop taking sugar in the coffee or tea. But what matters is how much of fat you are consuming. Suppose if you are consuming fat or oil in uh, pickles, in, uh, in uh, groundnut as a uh, uh, in the such things, you know, suppose you are taking mixtures, all our Indian uh, uh, snacks, what we eat like uh, jantikalu, samasalu, mixture, uh, and all these things, they have a lot of oil. So you, you won't even have a feeling of oil, so they are all dry foods. Oil is almost like 30% by weight in all these Indian savories. So when you eat a, a samosa weighing about 30 or 40 grams, it contains about 10 grams of oil and 10 grams of oil provides you with 100 calories of uh, energy which is equivalent to 
five or six cups of tea or coffee taken with uh, so the entire day if you are taking about five cups of coffee or tea with sugar you consume that kind of a calorie which you eat by one which you get by one samosa people tend to eat two samosas or three samosas i'm talking about small samosa i'm not talking about the large size samosas which you get in uh, uh, bakeries nowadays but the small samosas are weighing about 30 grams and 10 grams is oil and 100 calories so that fat based calories not only it provides more energy but fat based energy is not consumed quickly so fat based energy is stored so you can't really burn away all the fat based calories whereas you can burn away all the carbohydrate based calories suppose if you are uh, having calories from sugar or banana or any fruit which has more sugar and the calories that what you get from these fruits is burned quickly so your body consumes your body burns away those calories which come from sugar whereas body tries to preserve or store the calories uh, that is that, that derived from the fat so anybody who eats a small amount of fat they tend to put on more weight but if the, they are eating sugar based calories it takes time for them to have that excess sugar to become fat so there is a lot of uh, difference between uh, though the calorie content is same the amount of fat that you provide to your body by eating fatty foods by eating sugar foods are different so we don't really want you to cut down on your sugars we don't want you to really cut down on your carbohydrates you better stop eating fats uh, it's not uh, sugar disease it's a fat disease though we don't see all those uh, fats we don't really count all those fats in the, we don't measure all those fats in the blood but it's a fat disease please remember diabetes is not a sugar disease diabetes is a fat disease suppose if you are eating low fats or restricted fats you are less prone for developing diabetes and uh, once you are diabetic if you take less fat and uh, uh, eat less less fatty foods you get better control of diabetes please remember that by reducing sugar or by reducing carbohydrates by reducing any of these naturally occurring naturally available fruits you are not going to get any benefit in diabetes uh, especially if you are also eating fats please remember diabetes is a fat disease